Welcome to your market update charts of the day for today. It's Wednesday, the 15th of May, 2024. Delighted that you are investing some time in joining us today. Mike Smith and Alice at Go Markets, leading you around what's happening in markets today as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Let's look first of all, of course, at what's coming across the news. Overnight, we saw a positive session for the US equity markets again, with the Nasdaq hitting record highs. This was despite strong PPI and concerns regarding tonight's impending inflation data. So a very positive performance overall. US futures, however, haven't followed through as yet, but are near neutral in early Asian trading. Asian markets are generally following that US lead. China market was a little bit down to start the day, but the ASX is up around half a percent and European futures are also pointing to a mildly positive open, though it will be interesting to see how that alters and fluctuates as that CPI data release comes close. The US dollar index pulled down to support, and that was beneficial for gold, which we saw move up slightly and continuing to hold up above that key 2350 level. Copper also was a beneficiary, breaching two year highs yet again, showing further strength overnight and looks positive in Asia today also. All remains in a tight trading range after a slightly weaker day, which again, from an inflationary point of view, is quite good. Uh, but it is a very tight range it's trading in right now. Bitcoin holds 60,000, again, in a relatively shallow trading range. And it's all about that US CPI tonight. Consensus is slightly softer than the last print, but obviously it's expectations that it will be measured against in terms of a market response rather than the numbers as a whole. We've also got some key data coming out of Europe with the Eurozone jobs and GDP numbers due and US retail sales add to the mix of things for markets to consider today. A couple of charts at Core RI. JB Hi-Fi look interesting from a reversal point of view. We saw this big drop here down to 55.62 from the highs that we hit early April. Uh, we've now had a completed v shape in this, we suggested one of our live sessions that 58.20 was a level to get interested in. We're actually testing that right now. You can see this was support for this double top formation that we got there. Uh, and so the fact that we've breached this suggests potential upside in this stock, maybe up towards 62 in the first instance, but one to keep an eye on for sure towards the back end of a trading day. On the FX front, we're seeing some strength in the euro today. You can see that 30-minute chart. Looks as though it may well go up and test yesterday's highs. If we breach this, we should see ourselves up to test 108.40 pretty soon. If we look at the 4 hour chart, we haven't been at these levels for some time. We have to go back all the way to these very bearish candles that we saw in April. And a breach of this level could not only test the R1 pivot level, but also up to R2, 108.62 is a level of interest. Wouldn't be surprised to see it trade within this range between R1 and R2 as we approach that inflation data, should we get some continued buying coming into this. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.